So what is neem? Neem is a plant. It's it, it comes from a tree. It's a leaf off a tree, a neem tree. Um, inside the leaves, there is like this um, product. I I don't actually know the chemical formula, and I'm sure most people aren't really fussed as long as it works. Um, but we found with our friends Robin Des that if you actually burn the leaves, it does actually have a very detrimental effect on the um, mosquito population. It, they don't like it. I believe it actually paralyzes them. Um, but if you actually took a bit of neem oil and used it as a repellent, it's extremely good. Um, mix it with a bit of coconut oil um, or mix it with... Um, get a little bit of the oil and actually burn it on a kerosene lamp, for example, um, you know, late at night it, before you go to bed, it will actually do a lot of damage to the mosquitoes in the, the home. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because I often forget other people aren't in the same situation, you know, because where we are in the Philippines, our house is screened off. It's pretty well sealed. There's grills. The um, it's a it's it's a solid building. But I know some people stop with relatives and stuff out in the provinces where it's a nipper hut, etc. Where a kerosene lamp, for example, would be something that would be viable to take and just burn a little bit of oil in there, and it will have a pretty detrimental effect on the mosquitoes but if you mix it with coconut oil you can actually use it as a repellent now the reason I bring this up is is I know some people out there are a bit eco um, eco worried should I say they're, you know they're a bit environmental so at least with the neem it is actually a natural product now the other thing is uh, relating to mosquitoes and the neem sort of thrown in here is you will find people will set fire to things about five o'clock every night. It's actually to smoke out the mosquitoes. Um, this is why you'll see for miles lots of little fires that burn in the plastic, they're burning whatever's in the garden that day. And it's just, you know, it's just all these little fires, and it's actually for creating smoke for the mosquitoes. Now, if you throw neem leaves in on those when they're actually burning their crap at the same time, it will paralyze the mosquitoes as well um not that i'm advising burning rubbish um i mean i'm quite happy that minglanelli has progressed a little bit now because before everyone was burning their rubbish but we now have refuse collection something we didn't see for the first two years <laughs> it, it existed it just never collected anything um we've had a change of mayor etc so things have improved a bit but yeah the neem leaves work wonders um and it's readily available in the philippines there is neem trees etc um if you ask your partner or ask somebody can they get you some neem leaves they'll find it i mean somebody brought robin des a full sack of it um because obviously they must have emptied a tree somewhere um but on top of that um I'm going to add some links at the bottom here from Amazon as well because uh, these Amazon links will at least give you some access if you wanted to buy some before you went, you know, as a um, ointment for mosquito repellent. So it's a natural product. It's used, you know. I can't really sell this stuff, you know, because I'm not a, a salesperson. The only reason I brought it up is because I do know people are a bit more environmentally cautious these days. This is why when I'm in the Philippines, most of the stuff I do, I don't do medication. I don't do, um, well, I don't do medication at all. Um, even antibiotics, most of the time I won't take if I'm injured, for example. I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of being told that I need to take this or that when reality is the, I'm a firm believer the body will heal a lot of the stuff itself and I find it normally does so yeah but the, the neem leaves are a natural product and hey ho if you've used it before let me know let, you know give us some feedback what do you think of the product because I found it works quite well um, the smoke's got a strange smell to it but at the same time not a horrible smell so anyway thanks for watching yeah.